Hi there, Alan Smith. Hi there to everybody from both of us, and welcome to this big match today. Paris Saint-Germain today involved in our match, and they will play against Anderlecht. Well, we'll always remember, Alan, when we come to the Parc des Princes, the time we spent in Paris for the European Championships in 2016, and how well we were looked after by our French colleagues and indeed the staff inside this stadium. Yeah, it's a stadium that I've played at for Arsenal and a stadium, of course, graced by PSG these days, and uh, it is a wonderful arena. One thing to look out for from this team today is the way they try and win the ball back within seconds of losing it. Yeah, and they don't do it individually. They get backed up by a teammate. They hunt in packs, and you've got to do that. You've got to do it with discipline. And we can see here how Anderlecht are going to line up. Responsibility for some of those five in midfield to get forward. And uh, I'm sure the, the main striker won't be isolated, although it looks a bit like that on our screens. Yeah, he could be a lonely man up top there if he doesn't get the support that uh, he needs because he is the type of player that does need support. He can't do it all on his own. Well, the investment... The money from Qatar into Paris Saint-Germain, Alan, has made a huge difference. Well, it's almost like a different football club now, isn't it? With that money behind them, the ability to attract top, top players. Ludger Falk is the referee today. Well, there's the first whistle, and the game is underway. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Baratti. It's a shame for Neymar, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what he's got in this game. He's sort of tarnished by the details of the transfer out of Brazil to Barcelona, but that's history now. He'll move on, and he's moved on with playing some... And shoots! Well, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one. Miscued it badly. Well, frustration from the manager, but by the same token, his team are playing well. They might have gone ahead there, but they'll get another chance. That's good movement forward here. He's had a go, that's brave of it. He thought he might have connected a bit better than that. It's a simple save in the end from the long shot. Baratti. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Rabio. Good work by the goalkeeper. Read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. He's got some room out here in the wide position. Delivered into the box. He's blocked the shot well. He's taken a touch there on the defender. It will be a corner. Well, here comes the corner. Defended well. Joros Schweitz. Well, I like the look of this attack. And this is a good opportunity to put the ball into the penalty area now. Well, the cross doesn't get past the first man. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. To put them in front, and they put away the first goal of the game.
Well, it's a well-taken goal. Trying to keep the shot down, and he did enough, didn't he, to keep it down and get it in. Yeah, I don't know if that was a miss hit. He might tell us afterwards, but the end result is what matters. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Here's Danny Alves. Into the attacking third. Good, strong tackle. Ferrati. Rabio. Neatly intercepted. Possession changes feet. And find some space here on the flanks. Whipped in from the wide area. Cleared away, well away from goal. Tackle here. Well, that's good support as they build this attack. Great interception. It's a good cross. Only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. Edison Cavani. Angel Di Maria. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Compliment the defender, but not the player trying to cross it. He's got support here. Excellent work with the tackle. Ferrati. Striding forward, purposefully. Rabio Going forward well. And he takes it on with a shot at goal here. Well, nowhere near. Uh, he was a long way out. Yeah, I think that's a waste to try his luck from there. The manager turns away in disgust. He expects his man to top that one away and, and get his team on level terms. A lot of financial resources behind this team, Paris Saint-Germain. At the moment, the backers will be thinking that maybe they backed a loser here because the scoreline tells you they are behind. And they shape it again. It's bounced back into play from the bar. Referee has pointed for a corner. That's a fine shot, an even better save. Yeah, because it was sweetly struck, and you do have to pay attention to those. He's put in the corner. Danny Alves! Miscued, really, with the header. Yeah, not known for his heading, and you can see why there with that effort. Well, at first sight, Alan, I must say, it didn't look like a goal. It's good to have the replay, because... That helps us if it's tighter, but that wasn't one of the tighter issues. No, I think we all knew it wasn't over, although one or two of the forwards were appealing with arms up, but that replay, that confirms it. Baratti. He's got some room out here in the wide position. Delivered into the box. He's got it away. Angel Di Maria. read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception and the time to be added on here is a minimum of three minutes Baratti there's some potential in this move that looked very good indeed but the move has broken down and that's half time signaled by the referee 1-0 the half time score well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Here we go with the second half then with Paris Saint-Germain. Into the attacking third. 
Neymar. Made the challenge well. Obradovic. And that'll be a throw. Obradovic. Spage. A couple of teammates who are clearly on the same wavelength. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. That's going to be a throw in after that tackle. Spage. That could be the advantage rule applied to Paris Saint Germain. Now Motta. Paris Saint Germain smoothly through the gears here into an attacking position. A chance to break away now on the counter. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. Looking for teammates in the middle. And that's no problem at all for trapping goal. And it's gone out of play there. The manager's going to bring on a fresh player now. Neymar. Good forward play from them. Tackle goes in. Bruno. A return ball. Quick-witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. Rabio. They could pose some danger now. Now, this is an interesting attack. Laiva Kozawa. You could sense that they had a real belief in that attack. But the defending actually made it look rather weak in the end. No need to stop the play there because they've got the ball and they can use the advantage. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Nicely lined up for the set-piece specialist here with this free kick. For the ref, a decision, and the decision is yellow. I don't think anybody, least of all the player, can have any complaints about that. Well, that's risky, going in like that. Well, he's gone to ground, and whenever that happens, you're going to get penalised. Poor challenge. It's a triple substitution. Takes on the shot. Oh, that's a great goal, straight from the free kick. an awesome goal well you don't do that unless you practice constantly on the training ground that's his party piece restarting at 2-0 Kozawa Good play from the Paris players to threaten the opposition now.
Now Motta. Kozawa. Julian Draxler. Here's Motta. Kozawa. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. He's got his shot off now. Not frightened at going for goal from a tight angle there. Yeah, it was tight, but he caught it well. Not a bad effort. There's some movement in the dugout. We're going to get a change here. Bruno. There's some potential in this move. And the cross goes towards, and that's into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Not the hardest thing he'll have to do today by any means. Well, we might get an update on that injury now from our man Jeff Shrees. Jeff. He actually went right over on his ankle, but he has carried on. So I think it's unlikely to force him off the field. And Jeff Shrees in the know, down by the benches. The referee might have to... And shoots! I think that hit the post, Alan. I think it did, just clipped it. So unlucky. Oh, it's a bad day at the office, isn't it? The manager knows that. Look at his reaction to his team missing that chance and still losing by two. The poor quality of Paris Saint-Germain's display has continued in the second half and it looks as though they're going to get nothing from the game. Javier Pastore. This is excellent from Paris Saint-Germain. Thiago Motta. Shot on! by the goalkeeper, full stretch, good save, over the bar. <laughs> Corner played into the middle, defended well. Had a go! Oh, that's handball. Now, this is dangerous. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. I think he maybe could have done better than to get his arm to that ball. I thought he thought that first one was in bounce back off the frame of the goal and now he's uh, he can take his time before he gets the ball away from the goal and upfield yeah so relief and just a chance to get a little breather after that flurry of action it's looking good this move he's in three minutes from the referee by the fourth official that's the decision regarding added time taking on the defenders the referee do here he's put the player already uh oh he's in trouble looking earlier you'll remember second yellow he's got to go well when you think back to the first that there were two honest challenges i think challenges he he had to make so no real blame attached keep the free kick down always difficult from that kind of distance to get it up and over the wall <laughs> a 
and he's blown his whistle for the last time. Well, they wanted this friendly game to get themselves going again. They've lost the game, but in the end, maybe there'll be more advantages than perhaps the result would suggest. I think they were trying out one or two things out there that uh, didn't quite come off, but um, the manager might have finding it quite useful to see which of his players could uh, adapt. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. To put them in front, and they put away the first goal of the game. a great goal straight from the free kick he actually went right over on his ankle but he has carried up the referee quite happy and shoots shots on the bar. 